Surprise live. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh, what the? Give you some information on tips, advice, tricks, what to look for, what not to do on ordering meat from our store. If you're local, if you're going to have it delivered, or if you're going to have it shipped. So I'm going to give just a couple seconds or minutes, probably. No, oh, 16. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good morning. All right, I'm not going to take a long time with this, but I do want to get this out there because we've already had questions this morning. Um, people going to our website, our web store, and checking out let me get to share the screen. You'll have to hold on with just a second. Boom. Boom. All right. Can y'all see that in the comments? Give me a big thumbs up if you can see our store. All right. Good deal. All right. You see it. All right. Questions I want to go over today is I have tried and tried to get rid of this option right here. Search your uh, delivery area. Uh, they cannot take that off. It's made into the program. Please do not use this. This is to me junk, useless, because about anybody puts a zip code in there and it does not give them an option or if it does it doesn't even really make sense. So. I highly advise do not use this. I hate it. Um, if you are local enough and willing to drive, all of these beefs right here will be available, and the porks, we've got some down there, will be available to pick up at the butcher um, straight from them. We won't even be bringing it to the farm. But... Uh, a lot of people have been wanting the shipping, so we have worked tirelessly, tirelessly, I can't say that, um, to be able to ship, and we have uh, done our test trials this week and have had good success. So as of now, we have built three options for shipping. So you're going to have your ground beef is shipped. What you can see is shipped is a few different ways. I have shipped right here. And then also, let me scroll down a little more, you can see it is shippable. These right here are not shippable. This is a pickup at the butcher right here, the half side of pork. This one right here is you can pick it up or we can deliver it if you are within our delivery zone. Um, scroll on down. We will get to... These are the other two options that are shippable. We'll have a large griller's box being shipped and a small griller's box being shipped. We have not actually test trialed this one yet, but it is out there for option and we will pack a lot of dry ice in it. <clears throat> the reason it is pricey because it is large. Um, so if you was interested in this, you can click on it. Come on. There we go. And it tells you what is in it. This thing has got 10 pounds of ground beef. It has eight boneless pork chops, two pounds of mesquite lime sausage links, and two pork steaks. Now, all of the, like the pork steaks, they're going to be over a pound a piece. Each package of our ground beef is going to be at minimum a pound. I think every one we looked at is over a pound. Even the uh, mesquite lime sausage links, they're over a pound, but we're only charging a pound for them. Um, so you get there and you want to add it to your cart because it is a shippable item. You're going to come in here. Uh, let's see, mine is... 
take that out. You got your shipping options. You've got Arkansas. If you live in Arkansas, um, and I've already taken out some of the questions that people had this morning, um, this right here, if you ordered 31 pounds through this program, it makes us put a weight and up as our final one. So I had this set at $199 for 31 pounds and up. If you are getting one box, they're going to go from the one small box, either of the ground beef or of the small grillers box, is going to be at 15 pounds or just a little under 15 pounds, is going to be $33.50. That is the shipping container. That is the dry ice we have to buy to put in it. And that is the shipping cost. That's for two-day shipping. So if you bought the large grillers box, it's going to be right under 30 pounds. I can't remember exact weight with dry ice and everything in it. But the shipping cost for that is going to be $62. That is our styrofoam cooler in there, the uh, cardboard box that it's wrapped in, and the dry ice and the shipping, all for $62. I have to put this in there the way the program is made but that's not even going to be used because if you order two boxes two large boxes that's going to go 60 pounds we're just going to double this right here all right three day shipping um and yes for whatever reason tennessee and i think mississippi was left off of our two day shipping but i have got them fixed as you can see Three-day shipping is the same thing. All of these states right here are within our three-day shipping window. Um, we looked on US or UPS and found the shipping map that I can ship three days ground shipping, uh, and it arrived here. Every state, well, I understand that every state in the United States, I can do a two-day air shipping. Now that gets very pricey. If you are interested, I say very pricey. I'm thinking like, I don't want, don't quote me on this, but I'm thinking the shipping on two day air to say Washington state, just the shipping alone was like close to 50 or $60. When I looked at it, it's been a, a month or two ago. And then we have to put the cooler in there. We have to put the dry ice for the shipping. So it will get pricey. Um, that at this time that is our only option to do anything that is not listed on the two-day or three-day ground shipping would be to do two-day air. Um, let's see. Let's continue shopping. Uh, if you are within our delivery area, see within say 15 miles from seven two one four three that's the town next to us when you do that if you did use this for whatever reason all it's gonna do is blank out the things that are not available for delivery so this half beef you cannot add it to your cart the quarter beef you cannot add to your cart but see the package of ground beef you can the half side of pork you cannot everything down here you can add you can add Somebody must have just bought that because that was not sold out a while ago. And then also, to get this uh, business up and going, um, when we put these boxes together like these, uh, sorry about that, uh, these grill boxes, when we put them together, we're just trying to come up with ideas of things to ship. If there is things that you see, not eggs, but if there is things that you see up through here um, that, that you would like 
but are not in the grilling boxes, please email us and we can work with each individual on putting a box together and um, seeing what all will fit in it. Like, I can't throw, uh, of course, a picnic roast in our small box just because the picnic roast size is larger than the uh, internal inside dimensions of the cooler box. So those are not available. If you wanted to order whatever, uh, I think the most that can fit in our cooler box, our small cooler box is six or seven pounds of one pound packages. So like these mesquite lime links, we could package all six of them in one box. So if there's a custom box that you're interested in just please email us and we will see what we can we can do now like baby back ribs they are not going to fit in the small cooler box our bacon will not fit in the small cooler box um, we did not realize that when we bought that cooler uh, it's just a little little our bacon's a little bit long for that to be able to fit so like I said, if there's anything on there that y'all see that you're interested in, please email us at bwff at yahoo.com. Let's see, I'm going to look through the comments real quick just to see if there's questions that I need to go over. Mm, good, good, good. Photo me photo bombing when I'm yeah. yeah what about the lard I would like to render myself will you ship sell the fat sure we can try to do that what uh, on this round of pigs that we just got back here a while back um, the lard come in very large packages when we take our next batch we are going to ask them to package them in a lot smaller packages for that reason so we would we will be able to ship. So at this time, I'm gonna say no, just because the packages that we got are, are very huge and I don't even think they'll fit in our big cooler, but we will have that option available. How thick are the pork chops cut? Um, what did you say about? They're not super thick this time. About half? No, they're more three like quarter. Three quarter? I'm gonna say yeah, three quarter. Three quarter inch thick pork chops, so that's just a guess. We may, we'll probably go thicker this next one. And they are boneless pork chops. Suggestion on the search widget. Put it ahead or tell people not to use it. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Did you tell them don't put, the, don't put their zip code in on that first page? Yes, I did. And that's what they're saying. They're, put your little uh, widget header up at the top. Like we did this green one. That says don't use this. Yeah. Oh, just a widget header right here. Do not use this search. because We've actually asked them to remove it. And they said they can't. Uh, uh, nobody knew we were doing a live. I just. We've got several, several questions. And people, I guess, not frustrated. But saying that they really wanted to order. But couldn't pay $199 shipping. And I totally get that, but I have taken that off. And now this video will be out there so people can refer back so to it. So if you're ordering a small box, you will pay $33.50 in shipping. Is Ohio on the OK shipment list? Yes. I have got you all on the list. Ohio is right there. Oh, so they're not even seeing us. They're seeing the screen. Correct. Oh, they didn't even see me wave. Mm-mm. I'm waving at y'all. Oh, well, thank you, Highland Homestead. We could uh, use all of the help we can get on the on the shipping or selling of meal, sharing of meat sales. Yes. I'm trying to take a sip of coffee. That. Is Indiana on your list? Mm -hmm. Good question. I think it's actually on the two-day list. Indiana, right there, two days. We just shipped some to Kevin and Sarah in 
it got to them in two days and was solid, hard, frozen. Nebraska. I don't think, uh, for some reason I'm thinking Nebraska. Yeah, no, yeah, there's Nebraska. It's very long and full of corn. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. We drove completely across it one time. All the way from east to west. Yeah, we are so excited. And if y'all have it, hold on just a second. And if y'all have it, you can also go up to. Is that it right there? What? Let's see what that does. No, that takes you back to the home screen. What? That gets to our website. Oh. No, no, let's open here. Did y'all know? It's suggesting it. Oh, it was. No. No, I think that's the wrong one, is it? No, that's it. This is our brand new website. So excited. Oh man, that, that right there excited me just as much as the uh, the farm store. So this is our website. If you went straight to vwfamilyfarm.com, you can go to our products and that will pull up the same or thing. Or shop. Um, Dave girl's waving at me. Who? Oh. All right. Somebody also sent a comment and said they went to, let's see, where's our products? Product right there. Yes, geared for life. It's one pound packages. At least, minimum. Most no, of them. No, that's what the ground beef is packaged in. Most of them are just a tiny bit over. Let's see. If you, somebody asked a question this morning about um, produce, that of course will be coming soon, but they asked, they shop, wanted to shop honey. Oh, hey, Vicki. We do not have any honey or any soap or lotion available at this time, but it is soon coming. So if y'all hear a video come out or see a post on Facebook or just want to check back, you can shop there, but when you click shop online now for all these products, it's just going to take you. They're just there for future yeah. where we can add in, but, and honey and soap both go very quickly. So very. when we put out that like honey's available, it it'll, will. it will go quick. And then as y'all know, I think a lot of people just don't think about it, that we don't harvest honey except in the like spring and summer and sometimes fall. But, um, most people we know, unless they have like some outrageous commercial business, they okay. can't keep honey in stock all, all right. year. Garden grower, thank you. I want to see this. Somebody is trying to order. So when you go and you are ordering a small box. Of, Can you add it to your cart like you're ordering it? Yes. Uh, is it a small ground, uh, small griller's box? Uh, I want to figure this out. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, Give us grace here because we're still trying to learn this part, part two. All right. Add. Sorry. All right. Uh, garden grower, are you uh, choosing the two-day or the three-day shipping? See, down here, this is the problem. It says it's based on total price. Up here, it says it's based on weight. Oh. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, let me, there you go. Y'all see? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, you're going to see me going in the back door here. Is the ground beef organic? Hold on. It, yeah. You work on that. I'm going to answer questions. Let me see the questions. Um, why don't you just unshare the screen while you fix it? The ground beef is grass fed and um, we try to do everything as organically as possible. It's not certified organic and I just tell people we may never be certified organic because we don't want to go through the hassle of getting that, going through, jumping through all the hoops and paying the money. 
but we do raise, we say that it's organically grown because we do things that way because that's what we believe in and we're feeding it to our family. Okay, um, who was that? Um, garden grower. Garden grower. Will you either refresh your screen or empty your cart and try it again, please? Just, did you, did uh, you fix it? Because that's yes. not fixed. Yeah, I'm going to refresh my screen based on weight. Based on total weight, based on total weight. See, I just made that three-day shipping yesterday. Um, and we to actually, it. we go to bed at like 9 o'clock every night. Every night. <laughs> and then we figured out, about, we had a very long day yesterday, and we figured out about 10 o'clock, oh, man, we don't have shipping even turned on. And Kevin and Sarah's got a video coming out in the morning, and we need to make a video. And <laughs> so You were in here shooting a video at... Ben had already taken melatonin last night when he had made all this. So, we'll it, give him grace. And it was 11 o'clock. His eyes were crossing. <clears throat> all right. Okay, it came up to $33. Yes, awesome. thank you, thank you, thank you. See, that helped me so much. Because, like I said, we've had several comments this morning about people saying, I just can't pay. And actually, before that, I had it at $199 just because... What I'm not sure of, because we're just learning, if somebody ordered, and it's not an option out there, but if somebody had ordered a half of a side of a beef, I can't ship that, not for $62 or whatever. So, like I said, I'm learning, uh, but I, and I don't want to run off potential customers by them seeing that and them being like, no way. So that's why... I told Andrew, I said, I've got to do a live and just kind of go through this. But thank you, thank you. That was a great catch. Melatonin is my friend as well. I love it. And the other thing about this is um, if you see, where did it go? Uh, I gotta go back there. If you see something that is sold out, especially on these shipping boxes, because they may go fast, they may not. I didn't know how to do them, but we are putting these boxes together, and we will have to take out of our inventory. So saying that, I can't overpackage them of what inventory is out there and available of local people wanting to buy out of our inventory. It's kind of a well, we can't, it's not that, that we're like saving it for local people, no. but we can't like sell 20 packages of pork chops if there's only literally 15 out there. Right. Hey, Kate's Kitchen. So what does everyone have planned for today? What are they looking at right now? Us or the screen? That right there. Oh, okay. And then we're going to have to get busy. We are, we had our first... I don't know if I should say this. We'll probably put it on the video, but y'all are getting insider info. We had our first beef calf of the season yesterday. So excited. So our plan this year is to do all the things we get up and work them and do the day they're born. So it's going to spread all the work out over pretty much every day. We'll mm -hmm. go out there and tag them and all kinds of stuff, figure out, you know, so we can match them up with their mama in case there's a problem down the road because there always will be. But that's going to be, it's going to be a trip because you might have a cow that you think is the nicest thing ever. Just let her have a baby. They might want to just eat your lunch, huh? Yeah, we've already, there's already, I mean, uh, up this number right here. I would. Um, That's the small round box. Someone was just telling us this week about it. Trying to tag a calf that was just born. It about chased him up a tree. I can't even remember who it was now. So we're going to try that this morning. We have... There we go. Five turkeys to process. One of which is chasing us all over the yard. A brooder to finish. A schooner to start working on or get back to working on. And then we found two or three people 
that are having red calves and we're going to trade some of our black calves for red. We're trying to get our south pole herd established and we'd like to cross south poles with, if we can't do full-blooded south poles, at least cross with the red mm -hmm. calf or cow when they grow up. So really excited <laughs> about that. May have found some south poles. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really excited about. We've actually got 50 calves now in our weaning group. And so we're probably going to wind up selling some of those and buying some red ones. So most of ours are black. And we just talked to a guy, or you did, this week that he raised, was it Angus for a long time? Mm-hmm. And they switched to South Poles. Everyone around us, it seems like, raises Angus or some form of Angus, like Angus Hereford crosses, which make black baldies or whatever. Right. Just Angus, Angus, Angus. That's why everyone jumped on that train. And this guy said... Um, you actually asked him about trading some of our Angus for some South Poles or something. Mm -hmm. He wasn't interested. He said that they got out of Angus a few years ago and they've never looked back and they won't go back. So that gave us a lot of hope with the direction we're moving that it's a good move. Yes. Hmm. Is it so? We're going back up. Hey, Walker, Walker Farm Fam. North Star Prep Setter. Donna Lull said, saw Living Traditions unpacking their box. Yeah. They were so excited. We have been wanting to send them something for a while. They're friends, and we like to visit back and forth with them. Uh, but y'all know they raise pork. They, they said, if you send something, we'd love some beef. And we're like, <laughs> done. We got it. So... And we will have a whole lot more options on availability and different boxes. So keep checking back um, on what we will ship. Of course, we'll have, we got chicks coming this week. So they will be processed in roughly eight to ten weeks. I don't remember how long we, what our schedule was there. But um, we will have them USDA inspected. They will be processed at a, processed at a facility where they'll, can debone them so we can have boneless pork or boneless chicken breast, leg quarters, things like that. We got to see what all will fit into the shipping boxes to be able to ship. Um, what else is there? I was reading comments. Oh, you was reading comments. <laughs> we got uh, 13. What? Pig, yes. 13 pigs going in April, May. Yep. That's the. Um teenagers out in the woods mm -hmm. we call them so we'll have a whole they lot have more been options all acting like teenagers this week too yeah not them the mamas getting out oh yeah fighting each other um and then also i want to get out there um and work on another box that would be more like a uh i don't know what you'd call it i guess a mixed box of just all different types of things are you going to have smoked bacon someday? We actually have bacon now. So if you're interested in bacon and it's petty jean bacon, which we actually went and picked up from our processor and took it to a special place that just does like smoked meat. They're pretty famous in Arkansas and it is amazing. So I don't know if it's in any of those boxes, mm -hmm. but if you're interested, just email us. Uh, what's the website again? It's vwfamilyfarm.com. And then I was, this is funny, Walker, Walker, I can't get this word out today. Blah, blah. Walker Farm Fam said, any meetups in y'all's area, we'd love to come that way. That is so hilarious because did I not just tell you last night, I said, I want to meet this Walker Farm Fam mm -hmm. and some of the people over their direction. I said, I wonder if they're having a meetup because sadly, there's not any in our area. There's just, um, we really wanted to do the shindig, but. Just, As time went on, it just it was impossible because we could we couldn't have even gotten a place to rent us a space to do it. Much mm -hmm. less we needed to be doing the legwork like four months November. ago. Yeah, and so it just wasn't practical. But on the bacon, um, when we had that brought in, we got eighteen pounds of it brought in this time. Yeah, and that's what and, I was and there's say. some pork jowl out there too, uh, jowl bacon that's been smoked and cured that petty gene also. But we've already actually sold nine of the 18 pounds, so we've only got nine pounds of it left. Let's see, the pork jowl, where is it at? 
I think there's a couple of them. Yeah, there's maybe four of them. So, and here's here's the deal. It's a huge place that does this smoked meat, and they did it for us this first time, which you can see was a fairly small quantity. It was two pigs worth. Mm -hmm. Next time, we're going to have to have, what did we say? 500 pounds. Yeah, we're going to basically have to have 50 pigs worth to take to them at one time of belly meat and jowl and stuff. So 50 we're gonna to, pigs. So we're going to have to store. So we've got to go pick it up from our processor just as whole bellies and store them until we get 500 pounds of bellies for them to do it again, which we can do, but that means we're going to probably have like a year's worth of bacon done at one time, and then hopefully we'll last us for the next year. It's going to be an ordeal. Hopefully, hopefully our processor will be able to. Yeah, they do uh, a great job too. Yeah, they've got great bacon, um, the only but it's thing not is, right. USDA inspected because their smoker is literally sitting out their door under a covered porch, not inside the building. So USDA will not qualify that. So, But there has been a lot of, um, they're trying to give slaughterhouses and places like that relief because this is a problem everywhere with not the bacon situation but the you can't get appointments it might be like a year or so or two away like we have all our appointments for next year even so for the next two years um so they're trying to send funds their way to get that alleviated somewhat so hopefully things are going to change hopefully they'll change in your area too it's not a local thing it's more of a um, bigger problem and they're trying to fix it. Oh, Walker Farm. I don't blame you. They're going, there's a meetup in Hawaii, oh. but they're going to be in Alaska. Oh, I think I'd go to Alaska. I know I would. So they're 20 minutes from Kevin and Rachel. Yep. We love Kevin and Rachel. We love meeting them. Y'all should check out Hidden Heights Farm if you haven't. All right. Will the shipping go down any in the future? Um, if, it depends on materials. Like we, materials are expensive. Maybe just, but maybe just a dollar or two because the cooler that we got for the small box, the cooler in the box is only three fifty. Yeah, but then you add in the dry ice. That's expensive. Yeah. And um, very expensive. So it's not just the materials. It's it's the ice and stuff to get it there, which is very difficult to find. We're finding out they're pulling those freezers out of stores left and right. And then also, um, when I go to UPS, originally the shipping alone, just the shipping cost was going to be $20 to ship the small cooler um, for two days. And the company that we went through to design our website or store and everything, they have another, um, what is that, company that they're going through that's actually saving us a lot of money on shipping. So our shipping went down from $20 to $14, something like that, $15. The price you're seeing on there is all the things added in that we're having to pay for to ship mm -hmm. and try we're trying to just break even, basically. Yep. Um, even a lot of these things, like the coolers and everything, we drove down to a six-hour drive for us, loaded up a trailer to bring back all the coolers and boxes just so we didn't have to pay shipping and so we could get it faster to start getting it out to people. So I don't, I, I don't know, know how much the shipping would ever go down unless we can figure out, like, if we actually start selling hundreds and hundreds of pounds of meat a week. I can get dry ice cheaper. I've actually talked to the manufacturer, but we will have to order a minimum quantity of 500 pounds of dry ice. So, so that means we need to be selling like 500 pounds of meat a week, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and that we're way not there yet. Yeah. So um, we're trying. We're trying to save a dollar everywhere we can because then we're passing that on to y'all. Uh, let's see, we're looking for questions. Da, da, da. Someone said we're looking healthy and fit. That was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, I, do I look fit? I'm yeah. barely fit in my shirt. <laughs> Morning from Michigan. All right, is there any questions on the store? I see there's now 114. Wow, 
114 people in here. I want five pounds of smoked bacon. How to order that? Email us that. Yeah. And we'll get back to you. Uh, shipping is so expensive. It is expensive, and I am sorry. Uh, we've tried every which way we can to cheapen it. Um, Lord, 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 Lord. Did we say we're selling lard? We will sell lard out of this next batch of pigs that we have um, <clears throat> being processed in April. It is April, correct? Or is it May? What? The the big batch of May. May. Okay, I'm sorry. That uh, we will sell out of that one because we'll tell our processor to package them in smaller quantity or smaller packages. Lisa McClellan. That is what I would do. That's my personality. I would travel mm -hmm. and I would buy half a cow and I'd buy a whole pig. Yep. That would be my advice to anyone. You're going to save money. Yep. You're going to have your freezer is going to be stocked up for a long time. Um, and you won't have to mess with okay. all the, the things. Robert. It's $200 to get seven pounds shipped to Michigan. No, oh. there, there is a mistake. And it's probably on my part. So let me go. All right. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Sorry about that right there. All right. So if we went and bought seven pounds shippable and we are going to ship it to where michigan where is michigan not in there oh there it is yeah okay three days you work on that and then uh when i checked it said there are no delivery options at my zip code in michigan okay so that's one thing ben was going over if you're on the ordering page like where you're just looking at all our products and don't put your zip code in there. That is for like me to deliver to your house. And so that's why it's saying if you can add. I'll go over that in just a second. Um, you, well, I'm showing you. Let me just, this is to so sweet. They're in Michigan as well. Okay. Um, whoever it was that was asking about the, the shipping charge to Michigan, I don't know. Maybe try uh, deleting your cart. For whatever reason, I don't know why it would be showing $200 shipping. But I added this to be shipped to Michigan, and it is shipping charge of $33. So back to this. Don't add your zip code on the home screen. Add to your cart, and then it'll give you options to ship. Yes. And it's you can add. There's three different variety boxes you can add. You'll see them on that home screen. But that where it says delivery area, just ignore that part. We're going to put something up there that tells people. This is junk. That's for us to deliver to your house. And Michigan's a bit far. <laughs> we will, right now we're delivering roughly about an hour's um, drive away from our house. Susan, yes, you can pick it up here at the farm once a week on Thursday evenings. Um, everything that I'm doing, if you're local to us, everything I'm doing, you need to order by Tuesday at like 7 p.m. And then I deliver on Thursdays. And I go somewhere different every Thursday. And then I circle back every four weeks and do the same routes again. Um, and then on these, oops, let's see. Are you able to deliver to Little Rock? Absolutely. Yes. One of the weeks a month is like a Little Rock Benton Cabot, that route. Um, so you have one in the cart, Ben. Is that seven pounds? Go back to what you put in the cart. Yep. Let me see my cart. Right there. One. I think that is seven pounds of ground beef. Yes. This ground beef box ship is seven pounds of ground beef. The total cost of the beef is thirty-eight fifty, and then the shipping charge on that is thirty-three fifty. And I wish we could bring it down, but that is absolutely what we've got to pay to ship it. Let's see. If I order a whole beef, do you cut and wrap for that price? It's not us doing it. It's the processor. Um, and that what you order and pay, yes, that's your processing and everything. And you can get it cut however you want to. And they, and vacuum, you will, seal. they vacuum seal. They do a great job. Like your meat will be. Are we? Are they looking at the screen? Or yes, at? the screen. You want them to look at you? Well, you want them to look at that pretty face? Motions. 
it'll be like really flat. That's why I need to do like it's really flat. And it's really stacked really well and packaged and like the boxes. Nice little and, boxes um, taped. And then you'll pick it up there. They do a very, very good job. Yes, they do. Some of them that we've seen actually use whatever that paper is, butcher's paper. And some people still want that. They don't um, want plastic vacuum and, sealed. And then taped it, taped it on there, but vacuum sealed. Well, we found the meat lasts a whole lot longer. Hey, Fowler Family Farm. That's a lot of Fs. <laughs> Kate's Kitchen's got to run. We'll have a great day. Do we do UPS, FedEx, or USPS? We're hoping to, um, on this... It's like a partner that is with our company that built all this for us. It's just to get you all the best rate. So we're kind of hoping to use a variety. What will save you all the most money? So far, it's been UPS, and the people that we've shipped to said UPS has done a really good job leaving it where they were supposed to. We've had a bit of trouble. I don't want to criticize, but in our personal area, and maybe it just depends on the driver, we've had a bit of trouble with FedEx. And I don't want to offend anyone if you work for FedEx. We love um, and appreciate what you do, but we've had some trouble. So we're leery. Like we've had packages left at the wrong house that we had to track down. They wouldn't help us. And that could really be a problem if it's something like meat that's going to run. And actually one of the big things they lost was a couple thousand dollars worth of seeds that we ended up giving away to y'all. And, um, and it, it sat in the rain. I searched and searched everywhere, and I've done all the legwork. They wouldn't even help out. And then also Kevin and Sarah said that. Um, I think they've had some trouble, but all that say, we don't want to be critical. If you want to go FedEx and think we can get it cheaper through FedEx, like I said, email us. We will try to work with everybody. Um, and on, FedEx may be great in your area. Yeah. I do know that FedEx on three-day shipping is farther out in some places, so there is a possibility that you can get a package shipped through FedEx to you, to you in three days that you cannot with UPS. And like I said, the shipping is uh, option. Two-day air is always available, but I know it's, it's going to be, be pricey. Way more. And okay, it's web address, vwfamilyfarm.com. When I look at two-day shipping, it says you deliver to New Jersey, but when I try to order, it says no delivery in my zip code. Okay, now let's re let's uh, double check that you are not clicking on. Let me share my screen again. Um, you are not clicking on this up here, right? That's for us to deliver to your house, um, or we'll, locally. So put it in your cart and then see where we will ship it to. This right here does not. I wish we could just take a black marker and yeah, just I would mark that out. Put a big X. All Are you gonna ship that. to Missouri? Absolutely. Missouri, yes. Missouri. We will ship it ASAP. We actually got somebody in the comments that was on our test run, and we shipped a package that arrived yesterday in New York. And it arrived fine. Now I do want to make a quick disclaimer. It's if the further out you are, it may not arrive like rock hard, solid frozen, but it is not going to be completely thawed by any means. It's going to be partially frozen and very, very, very cold and able to go directly in the freezer. Um, so just if you order something that's three days out, we're going to try to put enough dry ice where it will be as frozen as possible. Do not use that. But it may not look like you just pulled it out of the freezer and it's hard as a rock. Mm. How about butcher box? Move your finger. Your store says delivery is not available to, which is West Little Rock. Email us, but uh, just make sure again that you're not using that on the first page. All right. So I want to see this. Seven. Two, 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 three. Delivery area, submit. All right, so what is available to be delivered to that zip code? Of course, these, these beefs are not. The halves, holes, and quarters, you have to pick them up at the processor. Okay. 
All right, see, we have worked and worked and worked. Well, you on. need, let me see something for a second. Okay. You need to add that up there or something? Hmm? Look, can you take this off screen what? sharing? Yes, ma'am. Now I can see your pretty face. Okay, you, you talk and I'll do this. All right, thank you, Ben. I, uh, we will definitely look into that. Because um, there's also a uh, a website that you can go through and kind of pick out your delivery route and it'll label out what all zip codes are in that delivery route. And if we miss it by just a, a foot, your zip code will not pop up in there for whatever reason. So if you want meat delivered, we're going all the way down to Benton. Um, you will be in that delivery zone that will be for the little rock delivery oh, she's actually looking on there right now let's see area for it she said my name yeah so okay i don't know if it's in here or not but i'm just gonna add it you want to know what it is? No, I got it in my memory. Yeah, you've got a good one of them. Andrea, it's in there yes, now. yes, we delivered to Heber Springs, and actually, oh, yeah. I think that is. I go there at least twice a week. Twice a month. Yeah, twice a month, not twice a week. Sorry. <laughs> I probably do actually go there twice a week. Yeah, Heber Springs is definitely, definitely on the list. Okay, it's fixed. West Little Rock is on there now. That's like Does out. all of the beef come from your farm? Yes, one hundred percent. All of it. all of it comes from our farm. There, we're not planning to. We're not partner partnering with anybody. If we only people we would partner with is uh, I, I might partner with um, Jill and Nathan on some produce. Yeah, we'll, Whispering we'll, Willow. Whispering Willow. Um, they've got a. Uh, a bunch that they've done that before but we're not there yet we're just trying to trying to keep our farm afloat trying to get this thing going and <clears throat> oh goodness yeah pull the computer off yeah did you say you can't ship baby back then? we can ship them we just cannot ship them in the small box i will have to do a put them in our larger box i need to make sure they'll fit though um, if you are interested in anything that you see on the store, definitely email us and I will tell you exactly what I can do and the minimum it will cost to be able to do that. Uh, the more the more weights you put in there, the more it's going to cost. But also just the size of the box in general, they, they uh, charge by the size also. Do you ship to West Central Minnesota? Go back. Okay, Garden Girl said, does it all come from your farm? For example, some just mix, processors mix the hamburger together. Ours does not. No. It's ours. 100%. Like we can even, I can even take five pigs and tell them, I, I want this pig for this person. Like they'll, they'll even do that. Like if we feed them out a little different or something like that. What did you ask me a while ago? Did we ship to where? Minnesota. We're starting our own homestead, and we'll be down in Arkansas late August. If we purchased a quarter, quarter or half a cow and picked it up, how long would it keep on dry ice? Um, well, that'd be a lot of dry ice. So, well, what they, what we've read when looking into all this, dry ice, what's that word? Subliminates. At, yes. At five pounds of dry ice per twenty-four hours. So, see, that's where the uh, the the shipping. They're getting to us because I put it in there and it's going to have five to ten pounds of dry ice. But by the time it gets to you, it's lost that five to ten pounds. So they, there's no way around it, though. Uh, okay. So this so sweet said just she made a suggestion or he maybe um, add local to the delivery area window so it'll be less confusing. Um, yeah, we've asked them to just remove it and they said they can't. They said it's actually doing what they designed it to do, but we're gonna ask again, could they do something? And we can add banners, so we might just put a banner though that says 
something like that. Alright, you said menace. Well, Patty said that it's cheaper than what she can get in the grocery store in Portland. Oh, wow. That's what I was hoping is like some places um, food is just expensive. And I thought, you know, even with shipping on some of these things, if you if you do it out price per pound, um, it's still what you could go buy it for like in a store of a comparable product, I guess. And you do know what it was fed. That's why we do what we do is because we want to know what our food is fed. So, um, I'm trying to figure that out. Again. What? It's only getting me to Arkansas. How was I saying? Well, maybe I'm getting that right there. Yeah. Or did you say Minnesota? Mm -hmm. It's on three day ground mm -hmm. shipping mm -hmm. for Minnesota. So he, he called it, someone was confused, like, why did you call it two-day shipping and then three-day ground? Um, they're the same. One's just two-day, one's three-day. Mainly because it was 11 o'clock. Yeah, because it was 11 and he was taking melatonin and he was about asleep. And I said, get up, we got to fix the website. Someone said, yeah, grass-fed hamburger is $9 a pound there. That's what I was thinking. Like, for some people, it's going to work out even with shipping at less per pound. Hey, Patty. See you, Deborah. Have a wonderful day and weekend. All right, I'm going to show you this right here. Someone said, how about Wyoming? Okay, Wyoming's in the, like, it could be three or four days, and we're still working on those states because we have no idea which part of it All some right. people would live in. This is the map that I'm going by. So... All the brown, well, start there. All the yellow, it'll get there in one day. So we ship it on Tuesday. It will get to you on Wednesday. All the brown, it'll get to you on Thursday. All the green will get to you on Friday. And we have tested it. We have tested it. We ship one from right there all the way up. Where's she at? Somewhere up there. Um, but what? reason like Colorado is not on the list and this is why we said email us if you are in Colorado and you live right here yeah I can get it to you in three days but to put it on the web store to say I will ship to Colorado I can't ship over here to Colorado in three days and you know guarantee you that it's gonna be there right and we so definitely don't want to ship it um, somewhere in it not spoil, but what's the one word? Oh, de dethaw, defrost, de whatever. So this is the shipping map that we're going by right now. And like I said, we are brand new to this, so we're still learning. All right. All right. So you before we before we jump off, let's recap one thing. Don't put your zip code on the home page. Hate that. We're gonna fix it. But um, you have a big red banner. Do not use this. And some of y'all are amazing at helping us with comments on like Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Y'all are y'all save so us helpful. so much because sometimes I might get busy like outside and not do comments for twelve hours or something, and someone was needing an answer, and y'all will answer. That Thank is you. so awesome. Thank you. So if you see people saying stuff like that, well. Some of these questions we've answered, feel free if you feel led to jump in and just tell them, don't put your zip code or whatever the case may be. Hate we the so delivery appreciate it. option. Yeah, we so appreciate it. Do not use delivery option search. All right. Ben Johnson said 12 pounds of ground beef ordered. The site works great. See you soon. Awesome. Awesome. And, okay, this is another question we've had a bit. Is the ground beef 90-10? They don't tell us. They don't They don't measure that kind of things that are processing place, like for home-raised products. But I will tell you, it is It is a few, like, whole cows. So it Goodbye. is what I would call comparable. It, it's as good or better than, like, ground sirloin or something you'd buy at the store because it has got all the normal things they grind for ground beef, but it's also got, like, Ben is saying like steaks and Real things steaks, ground into brisket, it. everything. Um, it is top quality meat and the and normal are, ground meat. 
and they're completely grass fed. That's a thing that it kind of honestly hacks me off because these days people will say grass fed and they're misleading people mm -hmm. because they'll say grass fed and that means that like part of its life it ate some grass. But then they might put it up and finish it on grain. But it, it was grass fed at one time. Or they'll call it grass fed and they've got it shut somewhere tiny and they're just like pouring grass to it. It's not out eating grass. And that's okay to feed hay. We feed hay all the time. But some things are misleading and people don't even realize they're being manipulated. Well, and that hacks me off. Just like when you go to the store and buy free range eggs. Yeah. They... Raise them in chicken houses, but they have a little pen out the side that they have the option to go outside in free range. And we have seen that with our own first eyes hand because we bought some oh, chickens from the chicken you houses. Can't even go in that barn hardly. It's and honestly. they don't go outside mm -mm. because they're there's like thousands of them and not a very big pen outside. Yeah, it's just a little spot to say there's a pen. So um, I'm sorry, I'll get off my soapbox, but. Yes, it is grass-fed completely grass outside on grass, rotating around on grass. And um, and the only reason she got processed was because she had miscarried or whatever you want to say, two years in a row and just can't have more or less pets out in the field not making money. So it is really good meat. And it's top quality meat, but we do not want to say that it's 90, 10, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry I went on that rant. Um, never enough time. It is vwfamilyfarm.com. That's our website. It will lead you to our web store. Yep. Um, yes. So, uh, what about Greg, Judy's red cows? They raise a thousand pound cows. That's what That's we're moving towards we're South Pole. To. So, we've actually got our full blooded South Pole bull. Um, and we're actually trading for some heifers hopefully soon this year hopefully goss mania said they hope to get some they just got to figure out how to get it all the way home to mississippi road trip to the processors it's a beautiful drive up through yep. it's more like western arkansas it's central but sort of western and it's beautiful over there and stock up that's what i would do is get it all at one time jeff said he would trade some young hens for some steak <laughs> we, we will talk to you about that. We'll have to we'll talk to about that. that off yeah. this. All right, we're jumping off here. We got a calf to tag. Got to try to not get run over. Breeder to work on. Turkeys to process. A I'm tired day. of being cha chased across my own yard by a turkey. Full day. Thank y'all. Yep. If you have any questions, please feel free. Email us bwff at yahoo.com. Check out our new website check out the web store and then also if you haven't already subscribe to our newsletter that's down at the bottom and i guess that's it we'll see y'all later thank you for watching god bless yeah